Hey guys, this is Melanie, Next for Steps and Budgets, and today what I'm going to be doing is a cash stuffing for my first check of June. It should be a total of $12.79 here. I kind of have a guide, but it's going to be a tad bit different. So I'm going to start in here, and I redid my binders a little bit. So WTF is going to get 50 So now it has one or 51, 50, 70, 90, 95, 200. So I'm going to color in one of the piggy banks. I normally forget to do this part on camera. Okay, if you saw the last video, you saw that due to a lot of mishaps with the car, hit and run, constant repairs, being towed to the shop, I ended up trading it in. So what I'm going to, I did have to trade it in, so um, to try to stay ahead on the car payment, it only went up like 40 to $80, I can't remember exactly, but I think like $40 each check. But anyway, so I'm going to stuff 281 for the car. One, two, fifty, seventy, eighty, one. Insurance isn't going to get stuff right now. Storage going to pass. Sanitation is going to get twenty seven. 25, 26, 27, so 25, 6, 7. Water isn't getting anything this time, nor is electric or gas or internet. Subscriptions, um, I usually do them, well actually, I'll just go ahead and do it that way. Or actually, I'm going to add up what they equal out to, and then I'm just going to put that amount in there. 22 plus 6, and I'm rounding up for these. Actually, it's 22, 6, 8, 13, 8, 6, and then 1, 16, because the Hulu's thing took on up like a dollar. So that's a total of 179. 50. 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 150, 70, 75, 10, 6, 10, 7, 78, 79, and those are paid through my, um, actually, you know what, I think I added this up wrong, let me figure this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is right. All right, so now I'm going to go back. PO box nothing, notary nothing. One star. Um, I don't have or can't get XM radio in the car, so I downgraded it to the app, which did end up saving um on the bill each month. But I did add one star, and then um got a gym membership because that is a plan to try to start going to the gym or at least going to take the girls to go swimming or something so that'll get 77 so it's 50 75 6 7 and that's for the month and oh yeah i did forget to point out I made some new envelopes. I still use the vellum paper, but you'll notice that the writing is a little bit different. Um, so yeah, these are some new envelopes and you'll also see some in the other binders as well. Um, so sell will get nothing this time. Bank of America Platinum. And then I did, um, I may end up doing a credit update here soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 
Um, I ended up getting a new, being, um, getting a new credit card. Um, from where I guess I had been with them for so long, they sent me a thing, zero interest for however long, and then I think it might have been like nine months or something. And then it also gave me a higher interest rate. I mean, not higher interest rate. Yeah, interest is just ridiculous anyway, but um, a higher credit limit. So I think I'm going to switch a lot of the bills over to here just for the points because it does have points now. Um, but even though I would still want to pay it off because um, between the girl's birthday and graduation and then just some other stuff that came up between the car and everything else I did end up having to use this but I did get points so even though there's no interest I want to pay at least the minimum but I want to go ahead and get that paid off um, just for credit purposes so this binder here now is like pretty much all of the bills um, so that's the bill binder okay so next this here is my envelopes and I'll take the money out of here and I will use the money from here to stuff here and I'm kind of just going to let this roll over so because I do have a bigger vehicle a new vehicle and I don't know um, what the cost of gas is going to be i'm going to take gas up a little bit and i do have some appointments and things coming up for work so gas is going to now get 60 which i don't know how i was going to break that down but i'll probably do 20 40 and then 60. actually it's going to be 50 and 60. I thought I fixed this with that one. If you notice on this one, the G went below the line, so I had to make that one a little bit taller. And yeah, I, I had to go back and correct those envelopes. So you'll see the gas isn't actually attached to the front. Um, because I put the lamination on the wrong side, so I probably need to run this one through again or do another one But I don't want to use that whole sheet just for one envelope. So If I come up with some other at least three envelopes that I need to make I'll redo that one And I'll probably make a video on that so groceries I had originally Did 300 but I think I'm going to take that down To 250 I normally do 250. I was going to increase it but there is already some stuff and I've kind of just been getting filler items to use up what we already have. So groceries is going to get 250. Actually, I wonder if I should do the three. I'm going to do the 300. So one, two, 20, 40, 60. 80. Hold on. Y'all, I'm confused now. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And I'm going to hope that I didn't mess up my denominations. But 1, 50, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 90, or 290. 300 and I'm going to stick with the budgeted amount for that one just because I've been spending a lot on groceries lately so that's why I've been trying to do more filler things household is going to get 25 so 20 and 5 dining out was going to get 50 I'm just going to put the 50 in there spend was also going to get 50 so I'm just going to put the 50 in there personal care was going to get 25 
And this will be towards me and the girls getting our hair done or hair stuff to get our hair done. Oh, I forgot to budget for giving, so I guess that'll come out of spin. And then here's some of the older envelopes. These are now going to be cash envelopes that we um, use for spending. And then I made new ones for, for, um, crap, for our savings. Um, I separated the twins or whatever instead of doing it all together and then here's some of the old things but I will eventually start budgeting or stuff in those just for because there's going to be some stuff that I have coming up like I signed the girls up for Girl Scouts and things like that so this right here isn't getting anything but this is more of the sinking funds oops This is more of the sinking funds, things that will build up towards getting shoes, college, game day, car maintenance, um, but will be used, but will be building up. And I'll just put these back here because I had made them a while ago and yeah, hadn't used them. So I just added those in the sinking funds envelope. And then you saw the savings challenge one. Now I guess trying to get set up my camera has been on for a while. So that is everything that I had for my envelopes. And this should be I was but I had budgeted 168 to go towards sinking funds. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, which it may be a little off. Um, 8590. Hold up. Let me just put this all together and count it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So 155. So it's what, about $7 off from what I had originally targeted, but Hulu went up. Um, there was a couple bills that was a little different than what I had originally planned when I did the budget. So that is that. And just as another note, um, for my savings, because I did use my emergency fund, let me show you guys that, yeah, I kind of did my budget for the, just a monthly plan to make sure. This is a magic month, but from where I traded in, of course, not going to be so much magic. But here, what I did was for the car, I had put from where the hit and run, I had, um, and then money that I had added. I had a total of 3477 in my emergency fund in the bank. So I took out 3400 to go with the trade-in of the car, which they really hooked me up on, which took my savings to 7711 I can't see without my glasses. Um, and because the bank charges a monthly fee if you don't have at least 300 in the bank, I added 222.89 out of my last check, so I didn't do a cash stuffing because once I took care of um, like the credit cards where I hit went over, and because I was not paying a hundred dollars in interest over um, on the credit card, that was just throwing a hundred extra dollars away. So I paid that in full. Well, two credit cards in full. I put my money, or well, put some money back into savings to take that to 300 to avoid the bank fees. And then from where I get paid, um, I have so much with $25 going and took it to this. Well, now I have increased that because I'm trying to get it back to the $1,000. So I've increased this to $50. And then I also have an account at a credit union. So every two weeks, the credit union will also be transferring um, $250 over to the credit union. So that's just a little quick update on a further explanation as far as the car, my emergency, and some of the adjustments that I'm going to be making. I don't think I have updated. Yeah, I haven't updated 
my savings this time or the debt because that's going to be changing but I think I'm back up to like 375 in my emergency fund in the bank and then of course I have the WTF in the envelope so that is the video for today if you like content like this hit the subscribe button I will be coming back and doing a separate video for the sinking funds using this money but if you're interested in following this journey sometimes it gets a little chaotic and I just can't get right hit the subscribe button and until the next time have a good one and peace